Hey everyone! So a few weeks ago, I was watching another video from one of my favorite travel-based channels, The Honest Guide. A channel that mainly focuses on offering travel tips for people visiting Prague. Even though I've only visited the city twice, it's an entertaining and interesting YouTube channel, and so I continue to follow along. The reason I bring them up is because the video I watched was all about mentions of Prague, or the Czech Republic, in American media. Have you ever met the cab drivers in Prague? Ah, uh, no. Well, they would hide their wallets from this man. And, well, it gave me the inspiration to do something similar. After asking the community and scouring YouTube, I found a handful of good mentions of Lithuania in American media. Well, five in particular. There are many more out there, but I think in many of these cases, the mention of the country of Lithuania is more used as a way to say somewhere totally random, obscure, and far away. When they connect to... Lithuania! Have you been to Lithuania? Wait, come on. No, no, no. Let's just make every country. Number one, let's Lithuania, go. Lithuania, what's going on? Lithuania, let's do this! Come on, Lithuania! You've caused Christmas for the whole planet! Everybody! Lithuania! Everywhere in Africa! The whole thing! Uh, and I'm watching this uh, World Cup. It's South Korea versus, I forget the other team. Uh, Lithuania or something. So I choose to exclude these and just focus on features that have a little more meaning and a little more Lithuania contained within. Oh, and one last thing before I get started. I'm gonna cross my fingers and hope that the video isn't flagged as copyright violation. I'm just going to state right here at the beginning that this use of copyright protected material is transformative in nature and will add new expression or meaning to the original material. So okay, let's get started. The first in my list of five comes from the TV comedy Friends, more specifically Season 3, Episode 13, which aired in 1997. Titled The One Where Monica and Richard Are Just Friends, the country of Lithuania isn't verbally mentioned in this, but it does make a very prominent and symbolic appearance nonetheless. This is the one where Phoebe walks into the cafe with her new athletic boyfriend. It's probably no accident that her coat and scarf collectively make up the colors of the Lithuanian flag, which is pretty cool. But that's not the main point, because a few seconds later she takes her coat off to reveal a very special t-shirt that was designed to celebrate Lithuania's men's Olympic basketball team. A tie-dyed shirt that has the colors of the Lithuanian flag featuring a skeleton with a basketball. I have a whole separate video about the origin, symbolism, and significance behind the shirt, so I think you'll have to check it out if you don't know the story already. I do need to make clear, however, that this design that Phoebe is wearing here is not the original. If you compare the two, you'll see that the text and the skeleton's actions are different. But still, it's clear that someone with a love for Lithuania and basketball was involved with the wardrobe in that episode. Alright, so our second example comes from another TV comedy by the name of How I Met Your Mother. More specifically, in the fifth episode of season two, titled World's Greatest Couple, which aired in 2006. In this episode, Ted and Robin visit Lily in her new and very, very small apartment. She says it's great, and is learning Lithuanian from her neighbors. As Ted brings down the bed from the wall, some shouting in Lithuanian can be heard. Something, I am going to something you like a something donkey. It's hard to pick up, but a fan website states that they are shouting Durna Mergina, Ashtave Numarinsu Cape Vezianti Jirga, which apparently means stupid girl, I'll euthanize you like a dying horse. In another scene, Lily pulls down the bed and brings part of the wall with it. Revealing her Lithuanian neighbor on the other side, she smiles and says, Svikas. Well, kind of. Next is the 2010 indie movie, Bass Ackwards. Now, full disclosure, I haven't watched the whole thing, so I don't know if there's an explanation for why this one character is able to speak Lithuanian. But anyways, in one scene, the main character, Linus, is asked to do an impression as payment for some gas. So he offers up an impression of the American actor, Christopher Walken. But if he was Lithuanian. Okay, before I show you the impression, here is what Christopher Walken sounds like. For those who don't know. This watch was your birthright. You'd be damned if any slope's gonna put the greasy yellow hands on his boy's birthright, so he hit it. 
And then here is the scene from Bass Edwards. Labas, a schnell now appear kato gavoya, schnei. No, Labas Cape Town, anus. It's good. That, good. That's that's basically it. I don't. No, that's good. Good. For so I think Linus first says, hello, I don't know what you're talking about, you know. And then something like, hello, how are you doing? Lithuanians watching, you'll have to confirm or correct me. Now, this obscure movie was released in the United States and the United Kingdom. However, it was also released in Lithuania under the title Kelly i New Yorka, which translates to On the Road to New York. Doing a little more digging, it looks like the filmmaker and star of the movie, Linus Phillips, is of Lithuanian origin. Although there doesn't seem to be any sources on the internet that offer any more detail than that. Our fourth feature comes from the crime-solving show CSI New York, in an episode titled Communication Breakdown that aired in 2009. In season 5, episode 19, Dr. Sid Hammerback quotes his Lithuanian grandmother while examining a body. Well, as my Lithuanian grandmother used to say, Kamet yrash visos tanir shishelo asta. Where there is light, there must also be shadows. Well, she drove me nuts. Well, I'm glad he translated it for me, because I don't know if I would have been able to figure it out. And finally, we've reached our fifth and final example, which comes from one of my favorite shows during my younger adult years, The Colbert Report. This episode is from the seventh season and aired on January 11th, 2011. This is probably one of the few segments out there where Lithuania gets tons of recognition. Here, I'll just play some of it. This time, the blow to America's supremacy has been delivered by our old arch-rival, Lithuania. <laughs> oh. oh, it is so hard to resist the urge to put on an embroidered apron and dance the ballias. I already have the world's strongest man, Zidrunas Savikas. While we're stuck with runner-up Brian Shaw, we'll never be able to match Lithuania's stockpiles of those little U accent marks. Which means I'm forced to palatinize my own diphthongs. And now these Eastern blockheads have beaten us again by releasing their own national perfume called Lithuania. Everybody knows the greatest compliment you can give a woman is, you smell like a Lithuanian. When I'm having company over and I want to spruce up the place, I just put out a few Lithuanians in the bathroom. They're like, they're like living potpourri that hates gypsies. Now, evidently, evidently, folks, the perfume is a blend of sandalwood, cedar, and musk with the smell of wood fires reminiscent of pagan rituals. I mean, who wouldn't want to smell like a goat slaughtered at a lesbian drum circle? And yeah, he's not joking when he mentions that Lithuania has its own scent. Made by Lietuvos Kvapas, this smell was launched in 2010 and was the first scent dedicated to the country of Lithuania. On its website, the company calls it a, quote, unique modern symbol of contemporary Lithuania. And it comes in a perfume, a scented candle, hand cream, and home fragrance. I've actually yet to try it out myself, but I'm really, really curious about it. Hopefully one day I'll get a chance. And if I do, I'll be sure to write a review and post it on LithuaniaExplained.com. Okay, so a few days after I thought I had finalized this video, I remembered that I had to add another one, so I guess consider this one a bonus. Lithuania, or as it's more commonly known, I don't know, one of the Polands maybe. So a few years ago, John Oliver from the show Last Week Tonight talked about a Vilnius tourism campaign. Maybe you know about it? It's the one where Vilnius is promoted as the G-spot of Europe. That's real! That is real! The new tourism campaign of Vilnius is Vilnius, the G-spot of Europe. Yeah, so I don't really feel like explaining this line if you don't get it, but it definitely got people talking about Vilnius and Lithuania, which is even something that Oliver admits to as well. It's already worked, because do you think we were going to spend time talking about Lithuania tonight if they hadn't done this? Of course not! So, kudos to the Go Vilnius team for this particularly eyebrow-raising campaign. They always come up with fun and imaginative stuff to get people talking about the city. 
But anyways, there you have, in my opinion, the top mentions of Lithuania. Like I said at the start, there are many more, but I think these are the best. So did you know about these before watching the video? And which one is your favorite? Let me know by leaving a comment. And so let's conclude with the Lithuanian word of the day, which is Karsus, which means famous. Garsus. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.